Good morning guys. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the lay of the land when starting at zero and where should your first steps be when looking for people that have problems and reaching out to them. So in this section, we're going to be talking about problems and knowing what they are and how to pitch a solution to them. So you're at the start where You've got a skill that you want to offer and you want to offer it to people that have a problem to solve. So problems could include they're very lonely, no attention in their social media, feeling lost, too unhealthy, no money, too lazy. Everyone's got problems, okay? And it's up to you to find these people and not just find them, but also they need to be willing for to be open for change because if they're not willing to change, you can offer anything, but they're almost going to say no. They they don't want your help, and that's one thing that is a big problem in this lay of the land when you're trying to offer help to people. It doesn't even have to be online; it's also offline. When you talk to people, when you want to give them help, they say no. They're not ready yet, okay? So timing is so important. You want to be looking for people who are willing to change and willing to, to fix these problems, okay? So in my journey, I've been trying to find people that are looking for more leads for their online social media business. So their problem is they cannot generate enough appointments to book people in, and therefore they cannot get any clients. And... The process is more just either they're doing it by themselves and they don't have a team or someone else to help with their communication through outbound and inbound leads. And that's very important because you do need one person specifically doing this job, building relationships with people who have problems and offering them a solution through your, your service. So if we use uh, my example where I'm offering people appointments and helping them with the communication process or finding outbound leads and communicating inbound potential leads about their offer. So what I generally do is in this section here, um, I'm doing a lot of cold outreach. And the thing about cold heart outreach that is hard for this space is you don't know what people want and also you don't know if they like your solution. Even if it's a good solution, they likely don't care and they also do not have any money to offer. So those, those two are the main barriers. So a lot of people who do cold outreach, they get to the point where they're communicating and they either say, no, nah, I don't have any money or no, nah, I don't care. And they give up their one thing you have to watch out for is these two things. What separates a good appointment setter from a, a, a normal appointment setter is that they nurture these people because, as I said before, it's a timing issue. They don't need your help yet or they don't care about you yet and they don't have money yet. And that's okay. That's why building a personal brand and having content assets like YouTube videos is so important because you want to give them free value okay and this is what this is the loop that you want to help people with keep giving them free value and i was watching a video the other night and what does free value even mean it should mean that your off your free value is so good through an ent entertainment point of view or from an informational point of view that when they get this free value worth at least five dollars or five dollars of their time and that's what value is it's something that they see that it's it's worth more than nothing okay because anyone can give you nothing like can anyone give you five dollars of free value that's valuable and then this is where you start nurturing cold outreach where they'll start to build trust they'll start to be like hang on this guy's giving me free value and not just one time, all the time. And this is why it's so important to be making a lot of content and a lot of free value content that's worth so much, okay? And this is where you can create audience, okay? So, 
out of nowhere, you can start creating an audience, okay? And that's gonna help build trust and authority. Because once you've got that, it's gonna you're gonna start building more inbound. But in this part of the journey, you don't really have much inbound. You're always kind of sourcing out, sourcing cold outreach. And the thing you're trying to pitch to people, especially if you're trying to provide help, is people want your brain in their business or people want your brain in their problem because their current problem with their current brain thinking power, they haven't solved it yet. Hence why they are looking for people. People who do not want to change is they're still figuring it out or they're using their own brain and their own clinical thinking perception to figure it out. But people who are looking for your help pretty, pretty much means they want your brain in their problem in hopes to, for them to fix it. And it's your job to deliver the, the service and to fix their problem. Because once you fix their problem, it's not just one problem. They've got many more problems, okay? And this is where, if you're providing a free service, this is gonna help build trust. If, you, if they start paying you, they're gonna definitely pay you again because you've built that trust. Does that make sense? So if you're not getting paid yet, keep giving them free value to the point where they trust you so much and there's gonna be a point where they're like, either you're gonna be like, hey, you gotta start paying me because I'm I'm just helping you keep constantly give me free value. Or they're gonna they're just gonna keep asking you for help and that's where you wanna be. Okay. So throughout my journey when I'm looking for potential clients, I am cold outreach and I'm constantly giving free value. And when you're starting from zero, that is the what the market wants, okay? If you've got nothing to if you if you're just starting out your 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 value to the market is free service okay free service and free value and content creation that should be your goal from the start constantly give free value constantly work on your offer because as you keep providing free value and you're posting more and more youtube videos you're refining your skill you're refining your service and as you as you keep refining what you're wanting to deliver your service and what you're delivering it's going to make more and more sense meaning like what are you wanting to say yes to and what are you going to, want to say no to because you can't help everyone but this is where you're going to start niching down to specific audiences that you can specifically help does that make sense okay so this is my offer it's a done for you service it's an implementation model people want you to fix the problem. So I think that the reason why people want this is there's enough information out there on YouTube. So it's not because they can't do it, it's because they want someone else to do it. And if you think about what I said before, people are trying to fix their problems. People do not like problems, okay? And people have tr tried so many times, hence why they're using their own brain to figure it out. But a done for you service, an implementation service where you jump into the problem, okay? You get it from a different point of view. You see it from a different lens and perspective. You fix it. They're going to be so happy that they found you and they fixed it and you fixed it for them. And that's how you generate trust. And that's how you generate authority. And that's how you, you start to build your, your skills and you start to refine your offer, okay? But when you're starting from zero, you're going to be applying and pitching your offer to cold outreach, okay? And you're just going to keep refining what you're going to say at the start. You're going to keep refining your, your messaging, your communication until people start offering, saying yes to your offer. But the, the message that I'm trying to get through you to in this video is that if they keep saying no, no, mostly comes from no trust between you and the person that you're talking to and they don't care and they have they don't have money. So you have to break these obstacles and to break these obstacles is you have to do it for them for free to build that trust because once you, you can break that and you can prove to them that you are offering 
uh, an impeccable service, they'll start to trust you more. Okay. So thanks again for watching this video. I'm going to do more of this kind of what to do at the start, because I feel like at the start, a lot of people are, are a bit lost and they're expecting money straight away. I mean, I am, I, I, I'm guilty of that. I mean, obviously who doesn't want to get paid, but you need to know there is a step before getting paid and that is building trust. And you need to understand that if you're not getting paid yet, that's okay. The free work is also very important. And the free work comes from making YouTube videos and offering your service for free to build that trust. You can get a testimonial. It's a win-win because you do not want to be seen or you don't want the business. The business owner doesn't want to be seen as losing something and losing money is not a good thing. Okay. So that's it for this video today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Thank you.